But we start in Lisbon, where Ruben Amarim's sporting take on Manchester City this evening in the Champions League. Manchester United fans will get to have a good look at their incoming manager when he goes up against their fierce rivals. Well, let's get more. We can cross live to Lisbon now and join our reporter, Gary Cottrell. So, Gary, Amarim has impressed in Lisbon, but would a win tonight really capture the imagination, I guess, of Manchester United fans? Well, the rain has stopped here in Lisbon, much more what you'd expect from the weather, even the sun popping its head out occasionally. And you would expect, wouldn't you, Manchester City to come to Sporting and, and at least get a result, potentially even a win. But, of course, Sporting doing very well in this competition and in the league under Amarim. They're on seven points, the same as Manchester City, unbeaten so far in the Champions League. Both of them in that top eight for automatic uh, progress through to the knockout stages. And of course, even under normal circumstances, Manchester United fans would be looking in tonight, hoping that Manchester City get beat. That's a given. But even more so tonight, they're going to be looking closely at what Ruben Amarim and Sporting can do. It's almost like a Manchester derby in a way, a month before the actual Manchester derby under Amarim. And Amarim's been talking uh, this week, hasn't he, about how difficult it's been for the spotlight being on him. He said it's been a very tough week and the worst but also the best week of his life. I think he'll be just pleased to get his team out there this evening in front of that uh, home crowd. He'll be getting off of 50,000 in there, most of them partisan, most of them sporting supporters. And, of course, a chance, the final chance at home to wave goodbye to the sporting fans because at the weekend they're away at Braga and only 1,500 sporting fans have got tickets for that match. So I think it'll be an extra special atmosphere for that reason and perhaps that extra special atmosphere, given the form that Manchester City have been in, might just, you never know, be an advantage for sporting. United fans will certainly be hoping so. Yeah, you mentioned that form, Gary, because they've lost their last two games. They're also dealing with plenty of injury issues. So uh, is it a case of if there ever is a good time to play Manchester City, this might be it? <laughs> well, of course, but uh, it's always hard coming up against a wounded beast. And they certainly were wounded by that defeat against Bournemouth at the weekend. Pep Guardiola came out fighting in his news conference yesterday. He said, yes, that was disappointing. Bournemouth were better than us, he said. But... You know, you do go through periods like that in the Premier League. It is such a competitive league. He says people are expecting Manchester City to win 30 games a season, 5-0, but it just doesn't happen that way anymore. He says there are bumps in the road. Let's wait and see where we are uh, at the end of the season. And, of course, around this time of the season, last season City went through a bit of a blip and we know what happened. And they do go through blips, don't they, around this stage. And I, fairly regular basis over the past few trophy winning seasons so he didn't seem too concerned about coming here tonight and putting that result right and of course when they came here last time in February 2022 Pep Guardiola's Manchester City beat Amarim Sporting by five goals to nil. Pep doesn't expect a result like that tonight but uh, I think he thinks that with the players some of the players injured players coming back obviously Kevin De Bruyne has travelled he was on the bench at the weekend and didn't feature so potentially involvement for him tonight Doku, Walker, Aki, Akanji have all travelled all could be available so that injury situation beginning to ease a little bit of course still some big players missing Gary for now thank you very much now, Pep Guardiola comes up against incoming Manchester United head coach Ruben Amarim tonight as Manchester City travel to Sporting. All eyes will be on how Amarim does against a City side who've lost their last two games. Guardiola isn't concerned by his side's form and admits it will be impossible to win the treble this season. I know our standards, right? I know our standards. So, yes, we lost one game. In the Premier League, maybe we're going to win, we'll lose against Brighton and against uh, next Tottenham and Liverpool and all the games. Yeah, but you lost one game. We are uh, two points behind uh, Liverpool as a top class team. We have we have done quite decent in the Champions League. I would say really good because the game against Inter that we draw, we played really, really, really good. So I understand. So I know the people you expect to win 38 games for five zero every game and win the travel every season because this is our standards. But this is not happen. I didn't happen in the beginning of the season. That would not happen. And the reason why it's more difficult because we have a lot of absence because during the season, sometimes there are seasons that sometimes happen. That to win the travel, you have to be, everything has to be in the same page. No injuries, good momentum, drop points in the opponent at the right moments. And this is not possible this season. 
because Oscar was the most important player in Preciso, was injured and we miss him a lot. Uh, Jack is not, again, still uh, fit, some some problems and and you know the situation for Rodri, the best player in the world, or nominated the best player is not here for the rest of the season. When that's happened, we know, we know that we are going to struggle. And that is the point, is be able to accept that we are going to struggle and it's fine. Well, Manchester United fans will get to have a good look at their incoming manager when he goes up against their fierce rivals tonight. But Amarim is aware people will draw conclusions from the game, but it's not something he's worried about. I'm not thinking about I mean, yeah. what people think. Tomorrow I will be the coach of sporting and of sporting only. From the, day 11 onwards, I will be the coach of Manchester United. I'm not uh, naive and I know that people will be drawing conclusions from the outcome of the match tomorrow, but I don't worry about that, truly. What? The focus now is to win for sporting, to be coach for sporting. Regardless of what happens tomorrow, I would, will be assessed as the coach of sporting from the 11th onwards, I will be assessed as the coach of Manchester United. I understand the interest of people in Manchester, but for me, it's more the play, a match of sporting against one of the best teams in the world. Well, it's not the first time the two managers have come up against each other. Pep's City team beat Sporting 5-0 in the Champions League just two years ago. Amram says both managers have since improved, but that Guardiola is still the better of the two. So what does Guardiola think? Uh, Amram said that since that 5-0, you've improved as a coach and he's improved as a coach, but you're still ahead of him. Do you think that's right? No, no, no. I'm pretty sure I agree with him that uh, he's an excellent manager and improve a lot. So, but this happened when you are a lot of times with the same club, same team, when the direction, sport directors go in the same page. And I had the feeling from outside that Oviana with Ruben was they were really, really close and they make a really good decision. So, and I, I'm pretty sure I'm better manager now than when I start 40 years ago. Just for the fact, for the experience, you live. A lot of experience, good and ones, and you learn for that. You learn for the players, you learn for many things. So um, it's not it's not an issue here. At the end, I never pretend to be better than the other one. Never pretend to be more success than the other one. What I pretend is to, to my team and the play where the game we're going to play, play better than the opening and deserve to play. Deserve, sorry, to win the game. And just a reminder, you can keep up to date with all of the action from a busy night of Champions League and EFL action with Soccer Special in the company of Julian Warren and his guests. That's from 7 o'clock right here on Sky Sports News.